Hey everyone, I'm Kendall Wyatt, the content director at Picmonic, and today we're going to go over the important differences between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea. So let's take a look at our Crohn's disease Picmonic, or our crown of intestines assessment inside of this image. Now with almost every single bowel disorder, you're going to have cramping abdominal pain, shown as these cramps with abdominal pain bolts, as well as a possible fever. Now with Crohn's disease, you should know that there are five to six stools per day, shown here by our five hand and our six sacs. Now with Crohn's disease, because it affects the terminal ileum, it's very likely that you may see malabsorption. Because of malabsorption, you're likely to see anemia because iron is absorbed in the terminal ileum. That's an extra fun fact for you. And you can remember anemia here inside of Picmonic by remembering an anemone. Now, complications of Crohn's disease include bowel obstruction, shown here as the intestines obstructed, as well as the development of fistulas, shown as this fist-shaped tunnel. And when you develop a fistula, when it involves the bowel, you've got a little bit of poopy goodness going the wrong place, and nobody wants that dirty mess. Let's take a look now at our ulcerative colitis pygmonic, or our ulcer volcano, inside of our image. Now, with ulcerative colitis, it's easy to remember, again, cramping abdominal pain, and you can see those clamps with abdominal pain bolts here in this pygmonic. You can see that there are up to 10 to 20 stools per day. 10 to 20 stools per day. Almost every hour, you're going. Maybe you get to sleep, maybe you don't. No one knows. It's really important to know in ulcerative colitis that you may have bloody diarrhea, shown here as our red toilet. You can also see tenesmus, shown here as our tennis playing moose. Tenesmus is essentially that urge that you need to go and you need to go right now. Hey friend, how's your tenesmus doing? What are the complications of ulcerative colitis? Well, ulcerative colitis typically affects the rectum. And because of this, you can have a complication of hemorrhage, shown as our hemorrhage hammer. So let's review the important differences between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. In Crohn's disease, diarrhea, just regular old diarrhea, and you can see five to six stools per day. Of course, you're gonna see cramping abdominal pain. You may see malabsorption, which could lead to anemia. Complications of Crohn's disease could lead to obstruction or the development of fistulas. Now let's contrast that with ulcerative colitis or our ulcer volcano with a colon. In ulcerative colitis, again, cramping abdominal pain, you may see my favorite character, Tenesmus, the tennis moose, don't forget it, and bloody diarrhea. With bloody diarrhea, remember, that's 10 to 20 stools per day. Now complications of ulcerative colitis include hemorrhage because of bloody stools and 10 to 20 per day. You can go in and review these on your own time inside of the Picmonic learning system. So what are you waiting for? Get started today. Go to Picmonic.com and find out why over 100,000 students, just like yourself, are learning using fun, engaging pictures. And they're able to memorize things so much longer. Go to Picmonic.com and sign up and try it out for yourself for free. Boop.